Hello beautiful people, you're welcome to Nelo's Teachers. My name is Nelo. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I made this lovely trouser I am putting on, okay? As you can see, the trouser is looking lovely. So you could just shape yours to your test how you want it to be. You just shape it. As you can see, my own is a little bit free. I love free trousers. And don't mind my flat shoe. I'm a very tall person, so I'm a flat shoe lover as well. <laughs> All right. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please, 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 please subscribe, okay? And also give this video a thumbs up. Like and share with your teammates, your family and friends. All right. See you on my next video. Bye. all right as you can see i have cut out my fabric using the pattern i made on my other video my trouser pattern making video okay and how i did this was i fold the down part of the pattern which is the ankle okay because i want this to have band so i fold the ankle side i folded one and a half inch okay and then i traced here i traced because your crush has to be the same if you don't fold here because if you fold here you're going to run short of your crush measurements okay so you fold the down part first just like i did here and then you trace out your crush and then all your all the areas just trace it out and then what i did like this one here after tracing it out, I folded this. As you can see, this the fabric cross here. As you can see, the fabric is um longer than shorter than the um pattern. So after I did it the way I did this one, after I folded it like this, I trace out the cross this way. Okay, what I did, what I'll do next is to unfold this okay i will unfold this i'll just i'm sorry i'm just removing the pins i used to hold it in place then i'll just take it off this way and then make sure it's aligned with this like this okay okay so i'll just trace out trim this side the way i want it to be okay just like i did on this one after i folded the down part and trace out i unfold it align it with the fabric take it up and then fold this place and trim this down part okay and as you can see i've also cut out my pockets and the pocket facing and also my zip fly okay and also the band what i use the measurement i use for the band is um three inches because you know i folded one and half so what i cut here is four inches half inch for seam allowance okay and it's on fold it's on fold this is two inches on fold okay so and the length is my waist circumference okay so what i'm going to do now is to trace out the dart okay i'm going to show you how you can trace the dart on your pattern to your fabric okay transfer your dart you want to transfer your dart to this transfer the dart what you need to do is to just use pin you just use pin on the length of your dart okay just to get the length all right so I'll flip it like so, and then I'll use chalk to mark it. So I'm marking it like that. So after marking it, I'm going to flip it back the other way. I'll do the same on the other trouser leg. And I'll be notching them later, okay? So I'm going to notch 
the back legs and the front leg too okay remember to cut your fabric on fold the trouser the back trouser leg is two the front is two my pocket is two the pocket facing is also two my zipper fly is three because i want to use one i'll be turning one i want to double one okay and then my band i added two inches to my waist circumference to create the band for because it's going to have um for overlapping okay so i added two inches to the band for overlapping okay so i'm going to start by sewing my dart all right so right now I'm, i'll take the front leg to the my sewing machine and then sew my darts okay and i'll also turn the zip fly so right now i'm i'm done attaching and uh, sewing my fly my darts and also my zipper fly as you can see is two so i doubled it i sew and then i turn it okay then the zip length is going to be I left half inch upright and I'll measure seven inches down. I also notched on the seven inches. I notched on the seven inches and I also notched on the half inch I left upright. Okay, so as to enable me folding like half an inch or quarter of an inch of fabric to sew my zip. So I'll place it like so. I, I, I folded in half an inch. You can fold half or quarter of an inch inside and then sew it. Remember not to run it very close, okay? Because so not to break your needle, all right? This is not like our blouse or so that you want to sew invisible zip, all right? Just sew it not too close to the zip, all right? So right now I'm going to use pin to secure it so that it will not shift, okay? So I, so I can sew it easily. Okay, right now I'm going to use pin to secure it. Okay. I'll run it like so. Okay. So right now I'm done sewing the zip on the other leg. So and I've also attached the zipper fly on the other leg. As you can see, I place it right side to right side. I run down just the way I did to the other one. I run it down and then I'll flip it over again like so. So I'll be placing my zip this way, leaving like one inch okay one inch space there i'll run it down that way okay i'll sew it down then i'll also be attaching my pockets So I'll be placing my pocket right side to right side like so then I'll sew through it that way I'll also place this other one and sew like that too okay so right now I'm done attaching my pocket and I've also sewed the zip on the other trouser leg okay and I've also joined my crush together so I saw it that way I left half an inch before the crotch length okay I left half an inch at the tip I will show you I'll tell you why I leave that later and then right now I'm going to create the zipper fly just pushing a little bit okay not too much just a little just enough to cover your zip okay all right
and I'll run on it like this down okay not don't sew on your zip so that you'll not break your needle you know zip at the tip of zip there is a place that there is no iron there okay so just sew that side just below the zip okay so as not to break your needle all right and also remember to shift this other side out of the way remember to take it out of the way so that you will not run on it because if you sew through it when you now open your zip you realize that your zip is not open mm? so i'll run through it like that and then i'll curve it okay and i'll also be attaching my pocket facing okay so i'll be attaching it leaving the two and a half inch i cut out from the pocket outside okay i'll place it right side up. the right side is facing up while the wrong side is facing down so i'm going to place it like so and then i'll if you want a if you want you can run on it first before placing okay if you want you can just run on it like this before you place okay but me i don't want it that way. i don't want any stitches showing so after which i'm going to sew the pocket okay so i've also ironed an interfacing on my band okay and i also fold in half an inch on both sides I'm done attaching my pocket and also the zip sewing the zip fly. Remember to leave any inch you take away from your trouser, all right, so as to have a correct waist measurement so that your waist circumference so that you don't run short of your waist circumference, please. As you can see, I left the two and a half inch on that pocket side. The two and a half inch I cut out, I replace it like that, and then I run through it. Okay, if you take away two inches, also leave the two inches, okay, so that you don't run short of your waist measurement. I also stitch that area so as to hold the pocket in place. And then the back trouser, I have sewed my dart. Okay, as you can see, I've sewed my two dots, and I also run the cross area. Okay, I run it that way. Then I left them um, half an inch, as you can see, before uh, at the cross tip. Okay, just like we did on the other one. So right now I'm going to go and join them together, shape it to my test, okay? I actually shaped this trouser twice, two times, because yeah? it was big, so I had to reduce it. So I've joined them, and then the half inch I asked you to leave on the front crush and also at the back crush. Right now I'm going to show you what I did. See, I flip it that way, and then I run through it twice, okay? I place it like so I sew on it twice okay twice also that it will not tear as you can see the the lines align together so right now I'm going to be placing my waistband okay so I'm placing it from the right side of the trouser So I'll be placing it like this, right side to right side, okay?
place it like so and I use pin to secure it I'll use pin to secure it all around then I'll take it to my sewing machine and run on it okay So right now I'm done attaching the band so I'm just gonna flip turn this one like so at the tip and then I'll run on it I'll run on it like so and I'll do the same on the other side after which I'll turn it and use my scissors to push the edges out okay and then I'll also place fold it like so and i'll run in between the back the front stitch okay it's not top stitching i'll not be top stitching on it because i don't want the lines to show the trade to show okay now we're back right guys right now i am true making the trouser as you can see that's the zip line and also the band the two inches i left I'll just put hook there. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Like and share my video. Also, also subscribe if you've not done so. Okay, see you on my next video. Bye.